Recently, the FilmLab desktop app for converting negatives had a huge update, and the creators reached out to me to see if I'd like to try it. They gave me early access to the trial version, and although I didn't manage to try it before release, it hasn't been out for too long and better late than never. I've had a good run through with the app, converted some film scans, and I'm here to share my thoughts with you. Now, I've only ever used Negative Lab Pro personally, so this is more of a first look at Film Lab rather than a long-term review. So keep that in mind, as well as the fact that my test was limited to the just the free 36 conversions of the trial version. But given this small sample size, I made sure to convert a variety of frames from different roles to get a better reading of the software's capability. The big difference with the Film Lab app is that it is a standalone software as opposed to NLP, which is a Lightroom plugin. Now this can be a pro or a con depending on the user. And it's why I think it's great that we have more options than ever before. Some people, including myself, love the Lightroom software and workflow, whereas some others do not. The Film Lab desktop interface is nice and works quite intuitively, allowing you to access folders and files on your computer without making destructive edits to the originals, which is a nice plus. I only tested it on color negative scans, but it does also convert black and white. The conversion process is straightforward and has some useful settings to adjust for the sensor used to capture as well as the light source. This big 2.5 update added a lot of usability features that you're seeing right now, including this great UI with folder view and the ability to do batch conversions. You can have a look at the full list of the top 10 improvements if you like in this latest version using the link that I've put in the description to this page that you're seeing now. The makers are clearly passionate about the product and make continuous updates and fixes, including a few since I've installed my trial. Now to the thing that I'm sure is on the mind of a lot of you, which is how it compares to Negative Lab Pro in terms of output. I converted frames like this one using the same original raw file using Film Lab app and then exported a JPEG of that back into Lightroom to compare it with the conversion of the same frame made with NLP. So this little comparison result you're seeing was fairly representative of my experience with all the frames I converted. I personally found that the straight conversions out of Negative Lab Pro to be a little bit more to my liking. I also found this to be the case when making adjustments using each app's built-in sliders. NLP simply has more capability when it comes to in-app adjustment, even though I don't tend to use most of them too heavily. I also found that it was harder to make fine increment adjustments in the Film Lab app with single notch movements on the sliders to have a heavier overall effect compared to NLP. There's less fine tuned control over shadows and highlights as well, and things like color balance. But I have been informed by Hannah from the Film Lab app that all of these are going to be addressed in the next update coming out mid April, which might already be out by the time you're viewing this video. Also, it is nice that Film Lab app can account for the sensor, which NLP also does, but in the background using camera raw profiles. Uh, and the ability to pick your light source is also nice with the Film Lab app and might solve some conversion issues for some users and help create a more refined set of results. And remember, these results are unique to me and my setup, which is using the Canon 5D Mark IV, and your results will probably vary. If you do end up giving this a try, however, uh, make sure to let me know what tendencies you found, if any, in the comments below so that I can compare them to my experience because I'd be curious to know. So here are a few more side-by-side -side comparisons showing the straight conversion results between the latest Film Lab and NLP. You can see the same tendency for less contrast and saturation in the Film Lab results with an overall blue cast. I tried the batch capability using a few scenes from various roles and again preferred the results from NLP personally. In saying that, your preference might vary and there might be other unknown variables influencing these particular results that I had. All in all, the Film Lab app works perfectly well, but just offers a different experience uh, and workflow and results compared to NLP. My opinion is that they are for different audiences which don't necessarily cross over all too much. NLP is for those who enjoy working in Lightroom and having everything under one roof, which is the camp that I fall into. It means you can make further adjustments in-app if you choose to do that, as well as utilize the folder organization, cataloging, printing, and other features of Adobe software. Film Lab, on the other hand, is for someone who doesn't like or want to use Lightroom, or perhaps prefers negative conversion to be a standalone process, without wanting to do too much to the images beyond that. It's more of a pure or express type of experience, which would also suit the more casual user or someone who maybe doesn't want to invest too heavily in the hardware setup or those who use minimal or smartphone setups, for example, to capture their negatives. Film Lab is adaptable to anyone from casual 
to enthusiast or hardcore, whereas I feel like NLP is more suited to the enthusiast and hardcore side of things. In terms of pricing, there are some key differences here as well. The Filmlab desktop app can be paid for either by subscription or as a lifetime purchase. They offer subscription by monthly payment at $7.99 US dollars or annually at $59.99 US dollars. The lifetime purchase price is $199 US dollars. This is an advantage again for the more casual users who might only want to use it for a few months or maybe a year, or those who just prefer having the option to either pay once or on an ongoing basis. NLP on the other hand is a one-off payment of 99 US dollars with no subscription option. Both apps offer a free trial, so I highly encourage you to try both of them and test each out with your own film scanning workflow to see which one you prefer. I have a link to the trial for both programs in the description below this video. And in the case of Filmlab, I also have a discount code generously provided by the makers of the app. So make sure you check that out if you wanna try these out for yourself. So in summary, I'm quite impressed with my first time test of this new Filmlab desktop app and can see its utility for many users. Even though I'll probably be sticking to Negative Lab Pro myself, I can definitely recommend giving Filmlab a try, especially for those who don't use or want to be restricted uh, by Lightroom. The software works nicely in a non-destructive manner that is capable of giving you great results, especially once you refine your workflow over time and use it more often. It's great to see more options in this space, which was previously just unoccupied for such a long time. We have more options for DIY digitization of film than ever, which is a great thing for the film community and something that I'm personally quite happy about. Developing this kind of software isn't easy, and I'm sure the majority of these developments are driven by the passion of other film shooters solving the problems that they encounter in their own process. And that's something that I'm pretty thankful for. So I hope this was helpful, and remember to let me know what your experience was with Filmlab and even comparisons to other negative conversion software. I have a whole lot of other content related to DIY film scanning if you'd like to check out my playlist and more content coming up regularly, including a look at the new Light Source Mini from Negative Supply and more videos down the track. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.